Hello students, welcome to my class. In today's class, we will continue the chapter Trigonometric Functions of Class 11. In, in my previous video, we have learned trigonometric equations, principle and general solution also. Today, we are going to solve questions in miscellaneous exercise. So, the first question, prove that 2 cos pi by 13, cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13 is equal to 0. So, we have to prove that this expression value is equal to 0. So, we will start with the left side expression. So, LHS is equal to 2 cos pi by 13 into cos 9 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. Now you see here this first term, first term if you see this is of the form 2 cos x cos y. So what is the identity 2 cos x cos y? So 2 cos x cos y is equal to cos x plus y plus cos x minus y. So, this is the formula 2 cos x cos y. So, cos x plus y plus cos x minus y. So, for the first term, we are going to use this formula. So, here we can write cos x plus y that is pi by 13 plus 9 pi by 13 plus cos x minus y that is pi by 13 minus 9 pi by 13. Plus these two terms we will write cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. Now we will simplify this. So cos 9 pi plus pi that is 10 pi by 13 plus here pi minus 9 pi that is minus 8 pi by 13 and you know that cos of minus x is equal to cos x. So, we can write cos of minus 8 pi by 13 as cos 8 pi by 13 plus cos 3 the other terms we will write as it is that is cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. Now, to group the terms. So, which terms we are going to group? This 10 pi plus these two, first and third one and the second and the fourth one. Why we are grouping like this? Because we have see 8 plus uh, 5 is 13 and 10 plus 3 is 13. Okay, so we are going to group these two. So, cos 10 pi by 13 plus cos 3 pi by 13 plus cos 8 pi by 13 plus cos 5 pi by 13. Again here we will use cos x plus cos y identity. So what is cos x plus cos y? Cos x plus cos y is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So this is the identity. So we are going to use this formula for both the terms. So here for the first two terms and the next two terms. Okay. So we are going to use the formula that is 2 cos x plus y by 2 that is 10 pi by 13 plus 3 pi by 13 divided by 2 into cos 10 pi by 13 minus 3 pi by 13 divided by 2 plus here also the same formula we will use. So, 2 cos 8 pi by 13 plus 5 pi by 13 divided by 2 into cos 8 pi by 13 minus 5 pi by 13 divided by 2. Now, we will simplify this. We are going to simplify this that is 10 pi plus 3 pi that is 13 pi. 13 pi by 13 means 13, 13 will get cancelled and when you simplify this uh, expression inside the bracket you will get cos pi by 2 and this expression that is cos here you will get minus 7 pi by 13 that is 7 pi by 13 into 2 that is 26 plus 2 cos here also the same way 8 plus 5 is 13 so 13 pi by 13 so 13 13 will get cancelled and you will get cos pi by 2 into cos here 8 pi minus 5 pi that is 3 pi by 26. 
Now, if you see here, what is the value of cos pi by 2? Cos pi by 2 is equal to 0. So, what will happen? This term is nothing but 2 into 0 into cos 7 pi by 26. So, you will get 0. And similarly, this term also we have cos pi by 2 in both the terms. So, if you substitute its value, we will get 0 plus 0, which is 0. So, this is our RHS. So, this is what we have to prove. This expression is equal to 0. Now, we will see the next question. So, question number 2, sin 3x plus sin x into sin x plus cos 3x minus cos x into cos x is equal to 0. So, here we will start with our LHS expression. So, LHS is equal to sin 3x plus sin x into sin x plus cos 3x minus cos x into cos x. So, we have to prove that this expression, when you simplify, you should get 0 as answer. So, how we are going to simplify? See, here in the LHS, we have two terms. So, these two terms, in the first term, we are going to use sin x plus sin y identity and the second term, we will use cos x minus cos y identity. We have cos x minus cos y in second term. So, sin sin x plus sin y. So, what is the formula for sin x plus sin y? 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So, this is the formula for sin x plus sin y and cos x minus cos y. Cos x minus cos y is equal to minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2. So, we are going to use these identities here. Okay. So, here the first term we can write 2 sin 3x plus x by 2 into cos 3x minus x by 2 into sin x. First term we have sin x also plus cos x minus cos y that is minus 2 sin 3x plus x by 2 into sin 3x minus x by 2 into cos x. Now we will simplify here that is 2 sin 3x plus x is 4x, 4x by 2 that is 2x into cos 3x minus x is 2x, 2x by 2 is cos x. So cos x into sin x minus, here we have minus, minus 2 into sin 3x plus x that is again 4x by 2 that is 2x into sin here 3x minus x that is 2x by 2 is equal to x. So, sin x into cos x. Now, you see here 2 sin x cos x sin x and the second term is also 2 sin x cos x sin x. So, we have same term and with the different sign. So, its answer is 0. So, this is our RHS. Okay. Now, we will see the third question. Now, question number 3 cos x plus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square equal to 4 cos square x plus y by 2. So, this is what we have to prove. So, here we will start with our LHS expression. So, left side we have cos x plus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square. So, this is the left side expression. So, here we are going to expand using a plus b the whole square identity and a minus b the whole square identity. So, we will get cos square x plus cos square y plus 2 cos x cos y. Similarly, the second term sin square x plus sin square y minus 2 sin x sin y. Now, we will simplify here cos square x plus sin square x. What is the identity? 1. Similarly, we have cos square y and sin square y. So, cos square y plus sin square y is also 1. And the remaining term from these two remaining term, we can take 2 common outside. Okay. So, 2 into cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Now, we will simplify this. 
that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 plus 2 into what is this expression actually cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. So this is the formula for cos x plus y. So we have already learnt this formula cos x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. So we have this expression only. So instead of this expression we can write cos x plus y. Now from these two terms we can take two common outside. So what you will get 1 plus cos x plus y. So we will get this expression. Now you see our answer. We have our answer as 4 cos square x plus y by 2. So here we are going to use the formula cos 2x formula. So what is cos 2x formula? 2 cos square x minus 1. If I am taking this minus 1 to the left side, I will get 1 plus cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x. Actually, this formula we are going to use here. Here in the place of 2x, we have angle x plus y. So, what angle you have in the left side? It's a half you have to write in the answer that is in the right side. So, 1 plus cos x plus y. So, this is the expression we have in the uh, here. So, 1 plus cos x plus y formula is 2 cos square this angles half that is x plus y by 2. So, using this formula we will get instead of 1 plus cos x plus y we can write as 2 cos square x plus y by 2. So, here we are going to write as 2 into 2 cos square x plus y by 2. Now we will multiply these two. So we will get 4 cos square x plus y by 2. So this is our RHS expression. So if you see you can find out. So 4 into cos square x plus y by 2. So this is what we got now. Okay. Now we will see the next question. So question number 4. Cos x minus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square is equal to 4 into sin square x minus y by 2. Actually this question is similar to the previous one. So we will use the same procedure here. We will start expanding the terms in the left side using a minus b the whole square identity. So we will start with the LHS expression that is cos x minus cos y the whole square plus sin x minus sin y the whole square. So here we will expand using a minus b the whole square identity. So you will get cos square x plus cos square y minus 2 cos x cos y. Similarly the second term we will expand. So sin square x plus sin square y minus 2 sin x sin y. Now we will simplify here cos square x plus sin square x value is 1. So 1 plus cos square y plus sin square value is also 1. And from these two terms we can take minus 2 common outside. So minus 2 into cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. Sin x sin y. Now we will simplify this 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 into this formula. What is the formula of cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. So this is the formula for cos x minus y. So we have already learned cos x minus y formula. Cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. So here instead of this expression we can write cos x minus y. Now from these two terms we can take 2 outside. So we will get 1 minus cos x minus y. Now we will see here we have already we have the formula cos 2x is equal to. See here in the answer we have a sign. So cos 2x formula in terms of sign you have to take now. So the formula is 1 minus 2 sin square x. So cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x. So from this we can write this uh, cos 2x will bring to this side. Okay. So 2 sin square 
square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x. So here you see we, uh, we have the same expression here also 1 minus cos x minus y. So what angle we have it's a half should come here okay. So according to this formula we can write 2 into 2 sin square x minus y by 2. So here the angle is x minus y. So it's a half should come here that is x minus y by 2. Now we will multiply these two 2 into 2 that is 4 sin square x minus y by 2. So this is our RHS uh, expression. Okay. Now we will see the next question. Now fifth question sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x is equal to 4 cos x into cos 2x into sin 4x. So we will start with the left side expression. So LHS is equal to sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x. So here if you see there are four terms in the left side. So we have to group two terms together. So how will you choose the term? See here first and the last one. If you add this angle that is x plus 7x you will get 8x. Similarly the middle two terms that is 3x plus if you add the angles 3x plus 5x you are getting 8x. Okay. So we will group these two first and the last and the middle two terms and we will use the identity. So sin x plus sin 7x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x. So here which identity we can use? Sin x plus sin y identity. So what is sin x plus sin y? 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So this is the identity. So using this formula we will simplify now. So 2 sin x plus y by 2. So x plus 7x that is 8x by 2. Okay, we will write x plus 7x by 2 into cos x minus 7x by 2. Plus here also the same identity we will use. So 2 sin 3x plus 5x by 2 into cos 3x minus 5x by 2. Now we will simplify that is 2 sin x plus 7x that is 8x by 2 that is 4x. Okay. Similarly here x minus 7x is minus 6x minus 6x by 2 is minus 3x and you know that cos of minus x is equal to cos x. So cos of minus 3x is equal to plus cos 3x only. Okay. So here we will write cos 3x plus 2 sin here again we will simplify 3x plus 5x is 8x 8x by 2 is 4x here cos 3x minus 5x that is minus 2x by 2 equal to minus x so cos of minus x is cos x so we can write cos x now if you see here from these two terms this 2 sin 4x is common so we can take outside that is 2 sin 4x into cos 3x plus cos x. Again if you see, see our answer, in our answer we have only multiplication, there is no addition uh, simple, okay. So we have to change this expression also using the formula cos x plus cos y. So what is the formula cos x plus cos y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So we are going to use this formula now here okay so 2 sin 4x into 2 cos 3x plus x by 2 into cos 3x minus x by 2 now we will simplify this 2 and 2 we can multiply so you will get 4 sin 4x into here cos 3x plus x is 4x, 4x by 2 is 2x, so cos 2x into 3x minus x, 2x, 2x by 2 is x, so cos x. So we got the answer, we will rewrite in the same order, so 4 into cos x into cos 2x into sin 4x, so this is our RHS, okay. So 
today we have completed first five questions in miscellaneous exercise the remaining question we will see in our next video if you like my channel you can share and subscribe your subscription my motivation thank you students